So multiple celebs take to social media to share their thoughts and their condolences after it was reported that rapper Takeoff was gunned down in Houston at the age of 28. Let's talk about it. So T.I. decided to take to social media and share his thoughts. On his Instagram account, at Troubleman31, he stated, my heart hurts so much for the family and the entire team behind this tragic loss of a true legend. I'm usually the one with the perfect way to articulate thoughts, but this has me baffled. Lil Bro was a real solid, respectful, honest, quiet, polite kid who conducted himself like a man of respect and stayed out the way. I just pray for peace in the minds and hearts of his family and all who are most affected. The city mourns with you and my family going to keep you lifted up in prayer. Our deepest condolences. God bless his soul. May the Lord be pleased with him and accept him into paradise. Shush, just sad. Long live the legend. Yearn take off. Safari Samuels also chimed in at I am Safari. He stated that this has nothing to do with being a rapper, famous or not. There is just no respect for humanity anymore, period. We're killing each other off for absolute no reason, like dogs, and it's disgusting. Every day, someone in the black community is being killed by our own and it's sad as AF. Also, actor Lakeith Stanfield chimed in at Lakeith Stanfield 3. And he stated, the dangerous toxicity associated with this glorified black serial killer and killed music and imagery got people thinking it's cool to hurt those that look like them and only them. It's okay to embrace the realities of life in the harder areas, but let's think about it. Not holding up this behavior in our circles. Let's make it cool to embrace life, travel, and learn new things. I know the scope of issues we have to contend with is much larger than just this and that we have a lot of work to do in many areas to restore our hearts and minds after centuries of persecution. He stated, if you are for gangster rap, you can't also be black. How do you feel about that? If you are for gangster rap, you can't also be for black. So basically, it seems as he's saying you're going to have to choose because he feels, Lakeith Stanfield, that it's impossible to be for gangster rap and then also be for blacks. Because I guess in his mind, he may be insinuating that violence and it's glorified to take out the black man. That's his standpoint. Uh, some people felt that it was too soon for him to respond on this. But the thing is that Takeoff's death has affected a lot of people in a lot of different ways, and it's making them think. I am heartbroken that this happened to him, but it's, his death is causing and moving people to start discussing issues, issues that need to be dealt with. My hope and prayer is that his death is not in vain because we can't take back what happened. He's already gone and it hurts. It hurts me and I don't even know him like that. So I only could imagine what the family is going through. So if through his death, others can live, there's a blessing in that. That if his death can change some things, then it won't be in vain, if that makes sense. Either way it go, the fact of losing him and the way that he was lost is gonna hurt and and it stings but if we can find some type of positivity around it and and something it can change something and bring people closer together in the community you know that's something to think about and i know that offset and quavo were on speaking terms hopefully that they can put whatever it was between them and move forward with love it's not something that I feel that just has to happen, but it would be nice to see, not just for the community, but for themselves. And through them learning to push past 
whatever differences they have, then that will be a positive example for the community. So they're not necessarily doing it for people, they're doing it for themselves and through doing it for themselves, it can take a positive effect on the community, especially the young community, because so many people look up to them, to everything they say and they do, and they put in these music videos, they look up to everything. They can say what they want to say, but the younger generation looks up to them.